Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever we are reaching you, this beautiful webness there. And we want to say a big thank you to everyone who have been following us on this live session of the Fresh Foundation. Fresh Foundation is fundamental, right? To Education Support Foundation and the Michael Kayode Ojo Education Reforms Movement. Thank you for following us. Thank you for sharing our page and liking our page. Thank you for your comments and for all the feedback. We say a big thank you. It's another beautiful day, another live session. We have guests who are already waiting uh, to reach out to people in the world as we continue to share and tell the stories of the first foundation, the journey thus far. And before we begin this journey, for those who don't know the first foundation, the first foundation, as mentioned, is an education-based foundation meant to support and to share advocacy through the Michael Kayode Ojo Education Reforms Movement. This foundation uh, was created and founded in 2018 and it became more functional with all the projects in 2022 and since then this foundation had been in different forms of advocacy and support project the first foundation started with reaching out to out of school indigents in um, Lagos State and all the regions of Nigeria. And from there, the First Foundation decided to begin to bridge the gap between those who have and those who don't have. And beyond um, religious barrier, racial barrier, cultural sentiments, and all forms, everybody is inclusive, especially the less uh, privileged. And the vision of this foundation is to ensure that every African child has access to quality education. And through this, the First Foundation seeks to bridge the education and training gap between the learners of wealthy background and the economically disadvantaged through partnership with credible donors all over the globe. And beyond this, the First Foundation also advocates for quality education through a partnership with public and private education agencies, training of teachers, sensitization of parents, and sensitization of the students also. And since 2018, it has been a wonderful back-to-back -back project. In 2023, the First Foundation concluded our education conference, stakeholders education conference, and that uh, ended the teachers' contest for public primary school teachers of Ifa Kojai, a local government. And after this, the First Foundation kick-started a project for the World Book Day celebration, the essay competition for public primary schools, private primary schools, as well as junior secondary schools, both at the private and the primary level. And uh, this project will culminate at the Children's Day celebration, which will happen and be held on the 27th of May. 2023 where it's going to be a great event it's promised to be a great event and at this event the winners of the essay competition will be rewarded towards this end we would love to discuss the journey of 2022 how was it in 2022 and towards that end we have with us today one of our guests who will be sharing with us the 2022 experience Please, Ma, can we meet you? Thank you, sir. My name is Bola Giovulabi. I'm an educationist. I'm the school owner, actually the proprietress of Abifid Montessori School here in Lagos. 
Abifid Montessori School was awarded the best performing school at the first foundation MKO SA competition of 2022. And Abifid Montessori School also produced the winner of the physical category of the competition. And Ma, how was it in 2022? Well, it was an awesome experience. Uh, being one of the contestants for 2022 Fresh Foundation SA Ready Competition. And uh, coming out as a best school and uh, also having one of our, our students as the winner, overall winner. It was actually a great experience for us, full of preparation, you know, and um, at the end, we, we, we came out the best. It was a great experience for Coming us. out best is wonderful. What makes the Abbeyfield Montessori School tick? Why there must be something that led to coming out best? Thank you, sir. The, the answer is passion. Mm. Because whatever you're passionate about, you will always come out well in it. Mm. We, we as a school, we are passionate about producing the best. We are, our target is always to stand out among the crowd. And we are always ready to go to any length, any legitimate length to make this happen. In Abifid, all pupils, all students matters. They, we, we believe so much in them, and so we invest our time, we invest you know, uh, the, the wisdom that God has given us. We have the best of hands, by the grace of God, wonderful teachers you know, going through training from time to time to ensure that they impact the, 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 the students you know, academically. And the, above all, God, you know, the, the God factor is the major. We believe so much in His grace, and that has been working for us. Beyond the essay competition, I believe strongly, looking at your profile and relationship with the First Foundation, you have been in partnership with the First Foundation since three years now. Please, Ma, would you love to share the stories with... Uh, being in partnership collaborating with the first foundation um let me appreciate you sir let me start by appreciating you because uh, we need to appreciate those that makes us happy because they are actually the the shami gardener that make us so blossom so you are one of them we want to appreciate you coming across a fresh foundation has been one of the wonderful experience that we had for the past three years we met uh, Fresh Foundation uh, precisely three years ago during the workbook day. They came into the school, introduced themselves, talked to our pupils and our students, counseled them on how to take care of their books, the importance of books, and the importance of studying reading. It was an awesome experience that year. And thereafter, during the COVID, you were around, you know, to encourage the, the school, gave out uh, nose masks, gave out books, gave out pen. It was an awesome experience. And ever since then, there have been, you know, one collaboration or the other in, you know, many of your programs and especially the one of last year during the essay writing competition where we came on board to compete with other schools in Lagos. It's been a wonderful journey with you. It's been a wonderful journey with you and that's how Mrs. Uh, Bolagi Olabi would put it. It's been a wonderful journey with the Fresh Foundation and the MKO Education Reforms Project. And we know ma, that it's also, it has been a wonderful journey with Abifid Montessori you. School. Thank you. And sir. we know we are proud of the school because of the partnership we've had with them in the MKO Readers Club project, which has been very, very wonderful, as well as the Award of Excellence project. We have been running this with the school thus far. Ma, it's been a wonderful time with you even here, yeah, as well me. as the journey thus far. Ma, before I let you go, 
Uh, we believe the school is running a chess project and a competition. Why are this project? Why is Abifid uh, getting into chess club, chess project and competition? It's all in the quest to producing, you know, wonderful kids. Chess is a game that requires, you know, uh, critical thinking, and uh, every child needs this to stand out. So we decided to bring that into our curriculum as a club, and it's mandatory for all copies from uh, year one upward. And uh, this has been on in the school, and uh, the first tournament will be coming up July 17, where we believe in God that it's a platform where we're going to raise, you know, possibly even world, you know, champion in, in chairs. And uh, this is just the beginning for us, you know. This is just the beginning for Abifid Montessori School. I would love to continue with this partnership. We believe we will race together the world champion of chess. Indeed. And indeed, First Foundation will be partnering with uh, the Happy Feed Montessori School, even in these chess uh, competitions and projects. Ma, it's been a wonderful time with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing your stories. You, uh, all that has been since uh, you began your partnership with a fresh foundation i'd love to announce to the viewers also that beyond being in partnership as a school she was also one of the judges of the recently concluded teachers contest uh for the public primary school of ifakoja local government and she was an excellent an excellent judge at the thank contest you, thank you ma thank you sir for that work you did you, it was a great time having you all through the process from december until april thank, thank you sir. again ma thank you for thank sharing your time with thank us you, viewers we have been with mrs bolaji Owolabi, or the school head and proprietress of abifield montessori school abifield montessori school won the award for the best performing school of the MKO Fresh Foundation essay competition for pupils and students during the 2020 season. And now we are at the 2023 season. We are still waiting for what Abifield <laughs> will be doing. And beyond that, Abifield also produced the winner of the physical uh, competition. And uh, we are proud of our education ambassador, uh, Ms. Am Amanda. Amanda. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lovely time with uh, you, the viewers, this uh, afternoon, this day. I'd like that you stay tuned with us. We still have other guests outlined for this live section. Please, this brief time of break, use it to ask somebody to join this uh, session. Follow us, share this platform, like the page, raise your comment, share with us if you have an already existing experience with the First Foundation and other foundations as well. Share with us your experience as a teacher in this ongoing project, as a student, as a pupil, as a parent. And I would like to tell you, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Very soon, we shall be having another guest to join us. Thank you again, man. Thank you very much, Thank sir. It's good to you. Welcome again, viewers. Thank you for staying tuned. I'm here with another wonderful guest. Uh, at the last session, you had um, the school that produced the winner of the Michael Kayode Ojo Education Reforms First Foundation essay competition for year 2022. And we mentioned earlier that Miss Amana of Abifid Montessori School won the physical uh, competition. She won the prize for one year or uh, three term scholarship. And it was beautiful announcing Amanda that day. I believe I announced her that day. 
and that wonderful chap showed to the stage it was wonderful here we have today with us the parent the mother who gave back to her manner to share a story i experienced with us ma can we meet you ma? good afternoon everyone good afternoon ma'am my name is miss caroline gumina amana mm -hmm. i'm the mother of fvz uh, by amana who happened to be the winner of mko fred foundation it was really a great relief for me you know i'm i'm a widow and when she won that scholarship thing it was like a big relief for me mm. because i never expected it but i know that yes she's going to come out well mm. i know within me and i also want to thank the foundation because they have really done well i know they are going places and they will so do well and also thanks to abby fit montessori school for what they've done mm. for the platform for the for the opportunity for my daughter to partake mm. in the essay competition yeah thank you ma'am thank you so thanks much. received that's the word relief and that's what the first foundation is all about to support and yeah. give relief yeah. and that's what has happened to miss mrs gomina yeah. uh amana she received that relief of one year tuition yeah. for our daughter miss Epsiba amana and and i believe as she said this is just the beginning yeah. this is just the beginning FC Amana is now an education ambassador of the NKU Education Reforms, and she has been doing wonderfully yeah. well since she do joined this ambassadorial community. Yeah. Uh, we're proud of FC and we are con we will continue to be proud of her. What do you do as a parent to help FC in our ongoing project of pursuit for academic excellence, ma'am? Yeah. Everybody and uh, younger sister, I don't really do much because mm. they just love education. They love they love going to school. Mm. You know, when they were growing up, if I want to punish them, I'll tell them, go and put your uniform, you're not going to school. <laughs> They'll start crying. You know? They will start crying. I'm telling you, mommy, please, mommy, please. And I don't really I don't even I can't tell them to go and, they carry their book there. I don't they don't stress me. I just believe it's God. They don't stress me at all. They don't. Only them will carry them book themselves. They will read. Even they, when they, when the mama was just going on, when I asked her to, when she come back from maybe some Friday, I said, the mama, leave your own work till tomorrow Saturday. Mommy, please. No, I want to do it now. Mm. That's when she was just two years. I want to do it now. That's what she'll be shouting. They don't stress me on their own. It's just God. They do it with ease. Miss Gomina says this is a product of uh, love for education. We are proud to say at First Foundation that education is not a scam. Even the little FC Bahamana says there is need to love education yeah. to achieve education or academic excellence. And again, we say we are proud of FC Bahamana, and we are also proud of our mom. She's a widow, and we know there are many widows out there who actually need such support that the First Foundation MKO project gave to Ms. Gomina Amana. And we are saying this out to everybody. You can support them. You can support her also as well to continue with her passion to have her kids achieve their own dream of education excellence again we say thank you again for You're coming welcome. around we know it's in a short notice that we gave thank you again You're welcome. and say to amanda Epsiba that we are proud of her again thank and so again we've so been much. live with um mrs caroline gomina amanda the mother uh, of Epsiba amanda the winner of the mko press foundation essay competition of 2022 and we are glad to say again thank you again you're ma'am, for your labor over these words yes, viewers this is still not the end of this live session we also have guests that will be coming in soon uh we ask that you stay tuned get your water 
Don't go anywhere. We are going to resume shortly. But while we are waiting, again, I say follow us. Raise your comment. Ask your question. Share this page as we continue with fulfilling the vision and dreams of education advocacy and education support for the economically disadvantaged in Nigeria. Thank you for staying tuned. Welcome back again. We are still on the live session of the Fresh Foundation uh, MKO. Um, um, it's been a wonderful time with guests on this session. We're also here with another guest, um, also a proud uh, winner at the Michael Kayo De Ojo essay competition for 2022. Um, ma'am, please, can we meet with you, ma'am? Yes. I'm Mrs. Udi Dijoy Odibu. I'm the principal of Trophy Guide Private School. Mrs. E, Miss, Mrs. Indi Dijoy, uh, the principal of Trophy Guide Private School. Um, last year at the essay competition, Trophy Guide Private School produced two winners uh, for the online category of this essay competition. Um, the first runner up uh, in person of Anucha Daniel and the winner of the online category, Sharon Olushegun. Ma, before you share your story with the uh, your experience uh, during the essay competition, please. These two kids produced by Trophy Guide, can you please speak briefly on them? Okay, I will start with Anusha Daniel. You know, he has been a very good boy, and in terms of academic, I will always look up to him. You understand. Uh, when it comes to subjects that involve tactical subjects that you need to argue, I call him my barrister because <laughs> he knows how to argue a point. You know, sometimes he's a shy that is, you cannot intimidate as a teacher. Whatever you want to teach him, you will still want to verify it and certify that he's right before you will take it. And when he started the program, I know that he's going to make it. Mm. You understand? So at the end of the day, when he came out as the second runner of, you know, I told him, I said, you are the first runner of because you also have a trough fight mm. there. <laughs> that if you had been the only trough fight there, you would have been a, the, the winner. winner. But because and the other trophy is also your senior <laughs> in class. So it shows that you have to have respect for your senior, you know? And, you know, it has endeared, he's a boy that is endeared to everybody. His academics, his moral uh, uh, virtues and things like that. And presently is the present uh, head boy of mm. the school. You understand? Because of his conduct, both morally, academically, and otherwise. And in fact, the uh, this 2023 uh, uh, participants that we have is the one that have been coaching them. Mm. But <laughs> when they came for both the online, is always the one that we go through vet their. Uh, their essays and things like that aid them in so many ways and even when they came for the physical 
uh, presentation and things like that. He has been the one guiding them. We most times the teachers don't guide them. We ask students, their seniors, to guide them. At least that will help us also to know if the senior students are what they ought to be. So Anusha has been, in, in fact, he has been a child that Trophy Guide is very proud of. Then in uh, the area of uh, Obushegu, Sharon, sure. I thank God for her life. You know, when Sharon came to the school, I, because whenever we want to admit a child, we will check you, we will have written interview in English and mathematics. And when I look at her English, I said, no, this girl, in as much as there are some other errors that we can, I think is someone that we need. And we started working on her, on other lapses and things like that. And she's a child that is ready to learn. In fact, I also want to use this uh, uh, opportunity to thank my Kayode Ojo Foundation and Fresh Foundation. You people are doing so much. In fact, I don't, ways cannot quantify what you are doing. Because Sharon is a child that the father died when before her name is ceremony and the mother had been struggling in fact to pay her bills to write to Ayek and Neko the woman was having some challenges but what my Kekayode Ojo and Fetch Foundation did for her she was able to settle that and I want to thank you people for that also in the area uh, also for Daniel Anucha because the mom, even after that, when we were having our 2022 end of the year section, the mother was just hugging us all through, you know. So I want to thank you people. And I also want to say that this foundation is really helping the children, facing challenges, meeting other students from other schools, and seeing that bringing them out from their comfort zone. You know, so I want to thank all uh, you people for that. And for our school, in fact, you would not know how much this uh, this program has impacted on our school. Because all the children, when you tell them, when I ask them to apply for this uh, 2023, almost all the school want to apply for it. It's just when they later find out that it's distributed for only the junior yes, students, you know? And the children, it has been a challenge for them. They, we always go to the internet, bring out a topic, even before you send a topic for us. They will bring out a topic and they will start writing on it. They will ask me, Auntie, is this one correct? I would say, go and meet your English teacher. <laughs> go and meet your English teacher. You know? So, the, they are so excited. You know? It's such an encouragement to the children. They've been going for other competition. And sometimes, at the end of the day, they just have bobo and uh, uh, biscuits to go home with. But this one, having an educational aid, is, in fact, awesome. And the children are very impressed. Their thesis has been built with it because most times when they are eliminated, they come back and they were like, let them check the essay of the people that we are accepted for, that qualified for the next stage. So they will now use it to compare their own mm -hmm. essay. And it has been, uh, it has been building them positively in their essay writing generally and in even in english language so thank you very much my this is a well spelled out story i thank you for sharing your first foundation mko story with us and this live session i believe it's wonderful and you have spoken well of uh, these uh students we are also proud of you remember sharon 
at the live session. Sharon was with us at the live session, okay. uh, speaking boldly about the need for every girl child to receive uh, good education. And at Express Foundation, we are proud of Sharon as one of our education ambassador. And we are, we are also proud of a Trophy Guide uh, private school for producing this one. Uh, these beautiful students, as well as uh, Anucha Daniel, whom we are also proud of. I would believe you are going to be receiving both of them at the Michael Kayode Ojo Fresh Foundation Children's Day celebration. The celebration continues. They were our winners last year, and we believe we'll also receive them at uh, this year so that they will also pass the baton on to the winners this year. And we believe very soon. Uh, the Michael Kayode Ojo First Foundation will also create uh, a competition of the champions, the champions of the champions, and we will receive Anucha, Daniel will receive Sharon, and all other champions to compete again. Ma, it's been a wonderful time with you, Ma, sharing you. your own First Foundation story with us at this live session. I will believe you are going to be with us at the on the 27th. Sure. Uh, and we believe you are going to visit the school again. We love that uh, receiving uh, hands that we had the last time we came to the school. I tell you, the school, they were wonderful that day. The, way we, the day we went to announce Sharon and uh, Daniel as winners of this competition. They went all over the street to celebrate these children. And it was a wonderful time. Thank you again, Ma, for joining us at Thank this you, live sir. session. I will believe when next we call on you, you will... Uh, be available for us to discuss further on education reforms and education advocacy in Nigeria. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Viewers, we have one more step to go. We still have one wonderful guest <laughs> waiting and would love you to meet with her. She's been a wonderful person, also an education ambassador with the Fresh Foundation. Today we want to celebrate her and we want to also receive our own Fresh Foundation story. Thank you for staying to I say please continue to stay tuned. Raise your comments, share, like, and follow us if you are not already following us. Thank you very much and please stay tuned. Thank you. Very much. We are back and live. Still the live session of the Press Foundation and MKO Education Reforms Movement. Thank you for staying tuned with us. Thank you for your likes, your share, your comments. We are sincerely grateful for all these. Thank you to all the viewers who have stayed tuned. Thank you to everyone who will go through these proceedings after us. We also have here with us another guest. A beautiful one indeed. An education ambassador of the MKO education reforms. I would love her to introduce herself. From there, we kick the ball rolling. Please, can you kindly introduce yourself, Ma? Well, it's 21st century multi-winning award teacher in Lagos State. Father Yomi, Omolayo, Grace. This is me. Did I not tell you she needs to introduce herself? <laughs> that is wonderful. I love that. Stay a 21st century multi-winning um, how this is our word teacher. Um, she is a public primary school teacher and she has won several awards in Lagos State. 
and she is looking forward to an international awards fam, correct? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to add this very soon. She's also a gospel musician, oh. if I'm correct. And that aspect of her life cannot be taken. We will get there where we'll discuss briefly on that. We're here to share our story, of First Foundation story. She was one of the public primary school teachers who competed at the last teacher's contest. And she is the proud winner of the first foundation, Michael Kayo de Ojo Education Reforms Movement Teachers Contest for Public Primary School Teachers of Ifa Kojai Local Government. We're proud of you, ma'am. Thank you. We're proud of you, ma'am. We are Thanks. proud of you, ma'am. Uh, please, ma'am, we want you to share your first foundation story your first foundation experience how was it the teachers contest well it was nice meeting mko first foundation uh i got to know about them about um six months back now on the page of a friend a colleague mrs adegaye so i saw most of our activities and i this ain't you. They look a bit different from others. So I went through the page and I noticed all they've been doing. Wow, this is fantastic. A few months later, they brought um, uh, a program which was announced by her EAs that all the teachers and they go um, if put in. And that was just an opportunity to meet them one on one. So my HM encouraged everyone to put in for the program, which I did. It was a nice process, challenging ones. But the joy there it was that we were collaborating. We were learning. We were just researching. At the first stage of the contest, um, it was going on like bread and water, second <laughs> stage, third stage and fourth. It was a bit challenging, uh, but the joy there was that I was learning along the line. We were meeting ourselves, we need to research and find a way of bringing your own results to your area of uniqueness. Mm. Good job to Fresh Foundation. Good job to you too. Thank you, sir. Mrs. Uh, Father Yomi. Um, you are a multi um, award winning teacher in Lagos State. Yes. What made Fresh Foundation Award different from those, or is it a different award to you and to your teaching career? If it is, what made it different? Well, talk about Stress Foundation's program. I would like to um, associate it with uh, other NGOs in Lagos State. I've met with some NGOs and um, they have different objective, different vision and mission. But talk about um, Stress Foundation, the passion is there. The strength to go to the deep is there. You know, some will just come around, some NGOs like, okay, we are coming here to do this. And at the end of the day, they just give um, exercise books, pencils, and it stops there. Then they advocate that the government should support them. To be realistic, first foundation in this century have done excellently well. Mm -hmm. Looking at the program, oh, they were able to work with the stakeholders. I wish you were there on the uh, the, the D Day the Stakeholders Viewers. Education Conference. I'm telling you, the parents were there, teachers, ed teachers, you know, representative from you know, board of direction and as in every
Everything was just... There are some people that you don't even expect they will be there. I mean, board of director. So what I'm saying is this. There is this joy of, let us do it together mm. in Fresh Foundation. There is this, I can't do it alone. It's a collaborative work. And that's exactly what they've done. And when you are calling on this, calling on this to achieve the same aim, then I tell you, you are ready to transform at large. And that's what I'm saying. We're proud of you again, ma'am. Same here. This is well said of the first foundation. They are unique and they are different and they are not standing alone. Yeah. They are looking for collaborative yes. efforts of yes. all education stakeholders mm -hmm. in Nigeria. And we believe doing it together makes it easier yeah. and faster. And by doing it together, we can achieve quality education, education. beyond just one person yes. trying to achieve little here and there. Yeah. And it is in doing it together that we are here with uh, Mrs. Father or me. And uh, we are proud that she is also one of our education ambassadors. For it is not just about winning. Yes. It's about what you begin to do after you win. And after you won, what has been the experience, ma'am? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> It's been fantastic. Mm. Then the energy to do more, mm. the energy to give back to the community, community, the energy to work with schools. Because um, actually, I looked at what First Foundation was doing and I tapped from that source. Mm. If I'm collaborating with this um, NGO, then I should be able to give back to the community mm. the same thing they are doing. Mm. Helping learners to reach their full potentials. Mm. Mm. So, so far, we've been able to, the energy is there. We are growing in wings by the grace of God. And, um, you know, you want to reach out to the corners. So that is it. We're proud of her, and we are proud also to share our stories. On the first time of meeting with her, this lovely soul, we saw what she did, even within our own classroom setting, beyond waiting for schools, the government, to achieve certain things within our own classroom setting. She went beyond the normal, would wait for the government to do this, and she went to do the needful to make a classroom setting suitable for learning for the kids. We, we say thank you for this. Uh, you are not just a teacher. <laughs> you, you are also a foundation on yourself. <laughs> that's wonderful. I'm encouraged. That, that's wonderful. We love that. And we love that everybody will take opportunity to do something. Yeah. While we all are waiting for the big ones to come, in our little ways, we can do something to improve learning, to improve education in in our community, in the state, as well as in the nation. Globally, as much as we can. There was something that happened at the last stage of the competition. We want you to speak briefly on that. The scaffolding um, model that won the competition. Uh, because that's how the judges put it, the scaffolding model for education that you pitched that day as one that is suitable for learning both in primary school at different level as well as beyond primary school. Ma, what is it all about? Anyway, um, scaffolding model of teaching, it's, um, it's designed for 21st century learners. Mm. Teaching has gone beyond. This is A, say it after me. The children have to learn, think, and bring out their own idea. Then they should be able to do things with a little guide. Okay. So when you talk about scaffolding, I call it I do, we do, 
you do. It's a graph. It's a three-dimensional um, shape. When I do, I'm laying example. The learners are watching. They are thinking. They are picking one or two things. When we do it together, that which I've taught them, it is now time for them to do their okay. parts. Why I am guiding them, we do it together. Just to bring out the strengths and the readiness to bring out their own activities. Then when they do, which is the last part, they do the work while I watch, to see, to measure, to evaluate their level of understanding on that particular subject. So when I do the learn, the watch, and that is why when you're teaching children, you must be very careful of that which you are passing, so you don't pass wrong information. Mm -hmm. And when we do together, you give them the that. When they do, they work independently. I'm saying this, this is a public primary school teacher in Lagos State. And this design have, has been helpful to raise wonderful kids in our school. And it's still the same model that many teachers have been introduced to the scaffolding model of teaching. Uh, I do, as an example, we do as a team and you do as a practice and you continue to do and you begin to perform and do excellent it becomes something you understand well done ma for this design and uh, well done ma for this design and we believe it's going to be pitch beyond you and it's going to go all over the world as another wonderful model i want we want you to do something ma we are still pitching to the world that the public primary school is better than yeah. before we want you to tell the story out there to the viewers those who are uh, the narrative we used to have about the public primary school in lagos state and other states in nigeria compared to what we are seeing now uh, we want you to share the story with the viewers that will change this narrative about the public primary school in nigeria well private schools have their own selling points but I tell you, public schools in Lagos State, I tell you, is the best. In public schools, we have um, we have trained teachers, we have educated teachers, and occasionally there is always you know a package for training. Now, when you talk about um, this basic education system, most of what you see out there in private school, we now have it in public schools. Mm -hmm. We have a nursery session, we have a formative stage session, we have an early childhood session. Even in public schools now, they teach phonics and other Montessori methods. British methods have been introduced. Heather methods are being introduced. And I tell you, you are paying nothing. Mm. Though you may have more in the classroom, but I tell you, we have enough teachers as at now. And we are still open for more. So the selling point of government now is that we should leave no child behind so to parents out there you find any difficult to face with this please take a bus step today find a public school close to your area and register your child public school is the one i tell you i'm a product and i can tell you you're doing well 
public school in Nigeria is doing well today, and that is the message from Mrs. Father Yomi Omola, your grace, winner of the first foundation MKO Teachers Contest 2023. And she said it boldly if you have a kid that you are finding it difficult because of your disadvantage economically to send to a private uh, primary school, private secondary school, take a bold step and send your word to the public primary school because the public primary school is not the same as of old. And that is the message from our winner and our proud education ambassador, uh, Mrs. Father Yomi. Before I let you go, ma, let's discuss music. Ah, Mrs. Father Yomi is a gospel musician. And I'm not going to ask you to sing. What has it been? You are multi-talented. Uh, how do you combine the two together? Um, being a teacher and a very good one as a dad and also being a musician, a very good one as a dad too. Oh, well, it's part of me. And not only, she also run, um, uh, what do you call it? Is it catering? Event world. Huh? Event world. Event world. Uh, she's multi-talented. <laughs> anyway, um, Singing is um, is in the rest. Right. Uh, why I was young, even before entering into the career fully, the only thing I love to do teaching, singing, counseling, and I love creative things. And the only way I can express my idea. Is by singing or I speak to you. Mm. If you are not opportune to meet me teaching, at least you will hear my voice. So that has been the motive behind it. That has been the motive behind it. If you can't hear me teaching, you hear me singing. So that I pass the word directly as a form of teaching or I sing my ideas. Very wonderful, man. Very, very wonderful. We believe this is not just the end point. Yeah. There are more awards and more laurels to win. And we say we are with you in this journey. You will get there and you'll be known everywhere on the earth. It was a birthday yesterday, 23rd of May, 2023. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. I hope my voice is not that bad. <laughs> happy birthday to you, Ma, from First Foundation and MK Education Reforms Movement. We celebrate to you, though, with you, though it was yesterday. And we'll celebrate um, an arrears with you. Yeah. And we pray with you that more laurels, more advancements, more achievements in your journey, in your teaching career, in your music career, and in all aspects of your life. Again, we say thank you to you, ma'am, for joining us this live session. Kudos to you. Kudos to the school. Kudos to all teachers in Ifakol Jai public primary school kudos to everyone who has stayed tuned with us since the beginning of this live session say thank you again for joining us this live session this beautiful wednesday day and we want to say again join us may 27 is going to be a big day for yes. children we are going to be celebrating with our children in lagos in lagos all children as much as will be available that beautiful day uh, may 27 we are going to be celebrating them you have the address uh, scroll down you can join us and if you can't join us physically you can also watch us online as we catch the phone with the kids to celebrate them they need to be celebrated and beyond celebrating them for the children's day we are also awarding and rewarding winners of the 2023 edition 
of the first foundation michael kayode ojo essay competition you are if you want to meet her live you are going to see her that they are winner she will be there physically then you can meet with her and uh, she will continue her story there thank you very much for joining us it's been a beautiful time with you thank you all of our viewers all over the world thank you for staying tuned we'll meet again next time at this live session have a lovely day ahead have a wonderful evening have a wonderful afternoon as well as a wonderful night wherever you are again we say thank you thank you for all the awards you are winning good morning good half